Hello, everybody. I'm Professor Benjamin Sovacool, a professor of energy policy at the University of Sussex, where I help the Science Policy Research Unit investigate things like energy transitions or low carbon climate policy. I'm really looking forward to my Knowledge is Great lecture uh, with the British Council coming up very soon. I'll be talking about something uh, that really is on the radar for many investors and planners and policymakers. It's mega projects to these massive multi-billion dollar transnational infrastructure consortiums that come together to promote big technology. Uh, it really is this kind of bigger is better mentality. And I'll be taking a close look at four of these mega projects and how they have evolved in the Asia Pacific, drawing on a book of mine published a few years ago with Christopher Cooper called The Governance of Energy Mega Projects, published with Edward Elger. We'll be looking at mega projects uh, in the Asia Pacific that actually cut across four very different areas and technologies. We'll be looking at things like oil pipelines. There's the Baku Tbilisi Jehan pipeline, which featured in the James Bond film, The World Is Not Enough, uh, which carries crude oil and affiliated natural gas in a twin pipeline from the Caspian Sea all the way over to Turkey. We'll be looking at the proposed Trans-ASEAN gas pipeline network, which is trying to be built in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations which would connect places like Indonesia and Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand to help manage billions of cubic feet of natural gas. We'll be looking at some that are more renewable based, the Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy, which will look at hydropower uh, in the island of Borneo and will help maybe Brunei, Malaysia, and Indonesia generate low carbon base load electricity. And finally, we'll be looking at the Gobi Tech proposal, which is a plan for a huge solar energy thing like Desert Tech, but done in the Mongolian desert to help export power, low carbon power to China, Japan, and the Korean peninsula. Presentation that I'm gonna give is gonna show how these projects have a lot of these benefits. They can help you know, consolidate skills and help create geopolitical cooperation, but they also have a lot of peril. They create a lot of tension in terms of dislocating different stakeholders, creating their own environmental impacts and creating some very wicked challenges for governance. So we'll help talk about why bigger may not always be better as we think about the future of infrastructure, the future of climate policy, and the future of energy technology in the Asia Pacific. 